Today is August 28, 2016, and today I wanted to share another family search partner app, and I think you're going to like this one. It and the way to get to it is you go to familysearch.org. So I'm at Family Search, and the way I like to get to these is I just scroll down to the very bottom of the page because right now this is where they have the app gallery. As you can see, it's about it's the fifth one over from the bottom. It just says App Gallery, and this is where they're keeping all the apps that other partners are are working on. So I'm, the one I wanted to tell you about today is this Baby Ancestry one. What it is is it's a baby name suggestions from your own family history and I saw this last week and I thought well that's kind of cool but I don't know how that's gonna really you know if I'll ever use it and then I was sitting in a family history class today and there was a young couple and they were pregnant with a boy and they said how will you would you go in and see what names are from your family history and I was like wow I just saw this and so I brought it up and I thought, well, I think it would be good for to share with others. So let's go ahead and click on it to go into it. Baby Ancestry. And what it is, it's baby name suggestions from your family history. Baby Ancestry scans your ancestors and provides a list of name suggestions. You can tap the name to see the people, pictures, and stories. And then it also takes you to a website behind the name.com to see what it actually means. And this was developed by Tyler Patterson. And we are going to get started. Well, I first wanted to share just a little bit about Tyler. It says he creates apps that bring light into people's lives. His primary focus is called Ever Accountable, built for people who want help staying away from pornography. So that was kind of neat that he um, really wants to, to bring good into the world. And I thought this was a great app that he developed. So let's go ahead and get started so we can view it. So just click on the Get Started button. Anytime you're on a site, always look for a blue button or something that's filled in. Um, and what this does is we're going to click on this Sign Into Family Search and it is going to create a list of name suggestions for if you're having a baby, you're a new little one. And I guess if you're a grandparent, you could make suggestions, right? <laughs> so that's just as fast as it goes. I didn't want to click on that yet. But here we are, and this actually is all the names that, and these are direct line ancestors. They're not going to go down and do the same. It's just direct line. And so this tells me right now we are on all the names of my direct line ancestors, all the first names. And what you do is right here, Anna has 30, there's 30 people with the name Anna in my ancestry. And so I click on Anna, and then it populates all those 30 women. And this one, and what I really like is you can go ahead and you can either click this down arrow or click on the name, and it will open it up and it'll tell me how I'm related. So this is Anna Marie is my great grandmother. Not, I never met her, but she's my great grandmother and she has one memory, so she has a photo that I actually put in. And then here you can, just below her picture, you can look at what Anna Marie, what the name means. And so you just click there behind the name and it tells you a little bit of just whatever they have on this website. Sometimes I, I notice this one doesn't tell you a lot, but, but and so you might try another website, but, but that's the website that they use is behind the name. And then you can also view her on Family Search. So if you click that, that takes you write to her person page so you can view her and maybe see who her children are and things like that. So I wanted to show you that. And then I wanted to show you too that you can click and just look at the boys' names or girls' names. You can like it and share it. And that's about it. But I wanted to show you before we, before I close this, is I wanted to show you how it brings up pictures and stories too. And so I wanted to come down and show you my grandma, Sophie. And so if someone, and this is a, 
most of these pictures I've put in, but if somebody else had put pictures in, that that would actually show up too. As long as they're deceased, you're gonna see pictures. So this is um, some memories and some photos that I've actually uploaded on my grandmother. And, and also there's a little story that I told about why I thought she was the best grandmother. So, and I noticed my my dad I pulled this up and my dad actually has a hundred memories but it only showed 25 so if there are more memories then you know 25 you'd have to go to the person page to view it but just so you're aware of that but anyway that's about it I think this would be fun you might want to share this with some of your children that might be having kids or if they are interested in using a family name then that would be awesome too. So anyway, super easy. Hope you have fun with it. And as always, I just hope you're having a great day.